Today we have the latest news for the 2023 WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And there's big news about Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. First up, Roman Reigns, and coming up in a bit, the latest on Brock Lesnar. So going into the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, Roman Reigns had a lot on his plate, and he needed a clear head. However, he didn't get that thanks to his family, as Roman Reigns' cousin is accused of no-showing a charity event and keeping the money. This is a very upsetting and troubling story, but it has to be even worse for Roman Reigns, especially going into this pay-per-view. Roman Reigns right now has to be livid about what his cousin did to him and how he's making his family look bad in the press. So Ringside News is reporting on this story, and if we scroll down, we will learn that this is... Roman's cousin, Jacob Fatu. He is the former MLW World Heavyweight Champion. So this is Jacob Fatu in MLW. He's never been in WWE. Roman obviously cannot be happy about this right now, and we don't know why Jacob Fatu is doing this. You know, Jacob Fatu is not a major name because he's not in WWE. However, he's a big name on the independent circuit and in MLW. It says here that Jacob Fatu has been accused of failing to appear at a charity event and not refunding the payment. NBC 26 recently featured a news story on the situation, and it says here that something came up and Jacob Fatu canceled the event, but that didn't mean he gave the money back. The charity involved in this incident is Jake's Network of Hope. The director of development at Jake's provided comments regarding the matter. Here's what she said about Jacob Fatu. Jacob called and said there was a family emergency. We gave him the benefit of the doubt. At Jake's, we are 100% about family. And I said, if you can't make it, that's fine. So he couldn't make the charity event but he didn't give back the money, unfortunately. So the total money that Jacob Fatu got from this charity to do this wrestling event was $2,633. The other sickening thing about this story is that other people came forward and said that Jacob Fatu did the same thing to them, whether it's other charities, independent promotions, and that they've been stiffed on money many times by Jacob Fatu. Jacob has not come forward and explained himself. He has not given this money back to this charity. And going into the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, this could definitely spell doom for Roman Reigns as this is just another sign that his family is imploding right in front of him and he can't do anything about it. There is huge news about Brock Lesnar and the 2023 WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Brock Lesnar has not been seen in WWE for several weeks, and many fans wondered what happened to him. Is it like Goldberg, where Goldberg's contract simply came to an end? There was no goodbye match. There was nothing. He just disappeared into the night. Did the same thing happen to Brock Lesnar, fans began to wonder. Well, we now know that he is still signed to WWE, and there is a major spoiler on Brock Lesnar's WWE Money in the Bank status. This is a report coming from Ringside News. So let's scroll down and take a look at this news story. So WRKD Wrestling tweeted out to reveal that Brock Lesnar is planned for Money in the Bank, and he will be in the O2 Arena, where the pay-per-view is taking place. That is obviously huge, because we all know what happened in 2019 when Brock Lesnar showed up unannounced 
in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, and he ended up grabbing the briefcase and became the winner of the match and the new holder of the Money in the Bank contract. And when fans heard that Brock Lesnar is going to be at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, fans began to wonder, is WWE going to do this again? Vince McMahon is still in charge. Will they have Brock Lesnar win this match? As we know, there really isn't a lot of star power in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Obviously, Logan Paul and Ellie Knight are the two biggest stars. Uh, other than that, there's some mid-carters and nobody really who, you know, could be a world champion anytime soon. This could be a possibility that Brock Lesnar is in town for the pay-per-view to once again make a shocking surprise appearance and turn up at the end of the match, grab a ladder, climb up, and get the briefcase, and do a repeat of 2019. Now, this news report goes on to say they believe Brock Lesnar is there to keep his feud going with Cody Rhodes. And this will be a setup for another Cody Brock match, this time at SummerSlam. However, that may not be the case, and Brock might be in town to actually win the Money in the Bank ladder match and to once again take the contract. As we know, Vince McMahon is a big fan of Brock Lesnar, and if Brock does climb up that ladder and grab the Money in the Bank briefcase, there are going to be a lot of upset fans. There'll be some fans who will be excited for Brock Lesnar once again winning the Money in the Bank briefcase and making a shocking return, but others will say, this is not fair. We wanted somebody new to win this briefcase, such as Logan Paul, LA Knight, or even Damian Priest. But we don't exactly know why Brock Lesnar is in London for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Is it to continue his feud with Cody Rhodes? Or does Vince McMahon have other ideas? And those other ideas include him winning the Money in the Bank ladder match. What are your thoughts about the 2023 Money in the Bank pay-per-view? And what are your thoughts about Roman Reigns' cousin taking money from a charity and not giving it back? And what are your thoughts about Brock Lesnar showing up at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view and possibly winning the Money in the Bank briefcase once again? Leave a comment below and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you are notified when we upload a new video.